So, does being attracted to trans women make you a homosexual? Let's elaborate further on this. I feel that, personally, when it comes to the nature of trans attraction, that it is beyond the scope in which men can possibly measure because at least in the, the minds of men because I would say see trans people or even certain gay men who do not transition exist on a certain spectrum of femininity that may attract the eyes of others so whether you're gay or straight it's really a matter of ideology you know because I find myself attracting men who have never been with another man, but that's because of some of the natural femininity that I exuded. I try not to force myself. You know, I'm not really one of those gay men I want to be in everybody's face because I know the nature of men and who they can be, at least in its full masculine form. Now, trans attraction is, is kind of a little doozy. I say this because it's a matter of ideology to even think that we kind of fit in your hierarchy of heteronormative ways, you know, because we're, we're so different, not only genetically, but also thought-wise as well. So, whether you're gay or straight, that depends on how you think about it. Honestly, nobody can tell you what type of person you identify as. So that's up to you. Self-identity is something that you give yourself. You know? And the label is some things that other people give you. You feel so... You can't sit here and take the world too seriously on what is gay and what is straight because where does trans attraction come from? It can come from a man's idealized form of um, what femininity is. And the funny thing is that that idealized femininity is something that you see in another person who was supposedly born the same gender as you. But then there's so many complications on, I would say it's not really complicated when it comes to you like, cause you like who you like. But it's more so complicated on the fact of how people choose to identify you based on things that are none of their business. So let's get down to the point. Does it really make you gay or straight? Truth be told, it doesn't make you neither. It's just you liking you. You can still be heterosexual per se. Or you know, you know, you like, you know, uh, attraction to femininity isn't exclusive to women. I think men forget what their gaze is capable of. That you can be attracted to femininity from all genders. And you can just let that rock out. And is that a part of acceptance? Is that a part of maybe bisexuality? Who knows? At least most of the trans chasers I've met that are like real trans women chasers, they usually be a little bit bisexual. But there are heterosexual men who like trans women. You know, so that's just, that's a matter of ideology. I say it depends on your mindset and where you at because you have to remember from the beginning of time, gay, black, white, 
straight come after these are things that we made up to quantify something that may be unquantifiable in the nature of the human zeitgeist and our reality and spectrum so it's possible for a heterosexual man to like a trans woman and it's possible for a homosexual man to like a trans woman you get what I mean? Both are possible. So, only you know me. You can't. Are you heterosexual? Yeah. Are you, bi are you bisexual? Does it matter? That ain't even the main issue. Yet. You know, the main issue is growing comfortable with yourself and what type of people that you like and be clear on what you like. And don't ever go back on that because, in truth, it's nobody's business. You don't owe nobody no explanation in the first so place. Genius. Take the and that'll just be that, what they're going to say. Nothing. So, let's pretend so and, and, and when it comes to trans women, I think that type of sexuality goes into a label. You know, when I walk up to a guy and he doesn't have the vocabulary to express to me who he is, I'd be like, are you attracted to me? I didn't ask you what your sexuality is. I understand that I may attract some guys that just be attracted to me. Or guys that look like me in a certain way. And he has that connection towards that. Trans women often do the same thing, which is why I kind of identify with them on that, because we kind of attract the same guys sometimes. So it's that. Bisexual, heterosexual, straight. Dating trans women doesn't define what your sexuality is as a whole. You know, because there are many different types of trans women. Now, what you date a trans woman for I think that would determine whether you're homosexual or not. You know, and may, maybe not even then. You know? In fact, we don't even have a, a word to coin this type of frame in the English language. They have it like in the Dominican Republic and stuff like that, that they clearly separate their feminine and masculine LGBTQ community members. So... Which you are hasn't even been said yet because they don't even have the idea of what it is in this society. But over and out. In other words, you're straight, girl. You're straight. It is what it is. And the, the nature of humans has a layer of bisexuality to it in the first place. Or sexual fluidity to it. It always has since the beginning of the time. We often put the bars and chains on those type of things to help maintain society. But that isn't necessary anymore. So, think about that. Make sure you subscribe to Jelani Time. I'll see you next episode.